All right, welcome to the video. Uh, thanks for checking it out. We're going to take a look of, at uh, creating the night nurse synth sound on the modal Cobalt 8. You can follow along with your synth um, if it's analog modeled, a VST, or an actual analog synth, you're going to get in the zone with this. There are no special features that you must have on the synth, nothing out of the ordinary to create this sound. So when we're done, we should end up with something like this. Okay, so let's initialize the sound and get into it. We initialize the cobalt, we get a sine wave. So we're going to turn oscillator 1 over to 64 to get a saw wave. We're staying on the default algorithm, the VA sweep. Going to turn the mix to center. So you want to get an equal sound of your two oscillators coming out. And we're going to adjust this shape, likewise, to a, a saw wave, sorry. So, sounding a little better. Um, let's give a little detune to the second oscillator. Let's go up around 11 with that. Let's also go to the oscillator setting in the menu and turn on free run. So you want your oscillators free running if you have that feature. If you're using an analog model synth, they probably are free running already. All right, so we're starting to slowly get there. Let's put a little drift in it just to bring a little variation between, uh, between the pitches. A 10, it's not going to be a huge change. Let's also press the patch button and adjust the vintage a bit. Well, let's not go too high, 17 or so. So we're getting a bit of a fatter, fuller sound here um, with some natural chorusing going on by introducing some variations in the pitch and destabilizations. Uh, the vintage is adding a little bit of not just pitch change, but it's going to adjust the filter, the envelope timing, timings a bit. I think it adjusts the whole voice settings altogether. All right. Next step, um, let's go to the filter. No, let's go to the amp envelope and let's shape the overall volume of this sound. So we do, are going to want a bit of an attack, a bit of decay, and the sustain down a bit so that we get um, the sound hitting a little louder and then going down a little quieter just after that. Let's put our attack on about seven just to make it smooth. DK, let's go in the low 50s, 53 is okay. And our sustain, low 70s maybe. Now let's go with 80. We need a bit of release. Let's go around there, 33, 34-ish. And that sounds like a bit much, but when we adjust the filter, you're not going to hear those notes overlapping like that quite the same way, I don't think. If we are, we'll adjust it. So let's just hit the filter envelope there, leave it where it is for now. Let's turn our filter all the way down. We're getting no sound. Back to our filter envelope or envelope however you like to say it. Now let's max out the depth on it. Well, we're going to want to do something similar as like we did on the amp envelope. We're going to want some attack, some decay, some sustain, some release. Sounding closer. Let's fine tune it a bit. 
Yeah, 12 is good for the attack. DK, let's go in the high 40s. Let's go in the low 60s for the sustain. So it gets a nice warm sound there. Yeah, release at 33 is okay. Let's just turn down the width a bit. Let's go down to about 17 so that the notes aren't jumping left and right so much, but we still get a little bit of a stereo field. Um, you could just turn it totally mono as well, just down to zero. The other option we could do with this is we could stack it. When we're done. So um, I just press the, the octave key up. Definitely need to be an octave higher here. So there we go. That's better. Let's jump back to the filter. Give it a bit of resonance. Let's go around 17. Let's also give it some drive. Oh, I don't want morph. As a matter of fact, let's change the filter altogether. Let's go to the 24 dB ladder filter so that we can get some drive. Let's go in the mid 30s. That's good. Gets the volume up a bit, drives the oscillators a little harder into the filter. And the bit of resonance, it's a little subtle, but uh, it helps with the sound a bit. Helps accent that little bit of brassy sound that we want to get out of this. That is almost it. There is some modulation on the long notes, some pitch modulation. So we're going to go to LFO1. Then we're going to press shift and a fine tune knob on the oscillators. Either one works. And we're going to introduce some pitch changing here. All right, so honestly, that's not what we want, so we're going to adjust our rate. Make sure you come out of the assign mode. We want it faster than that. Let's go up into the low 70s here. And we are going to turn our depth all the way down. So now there will be none. And we're going to want to control it with aftertouch. So I'm going to press the aftertouch button here. I'm going to go to the depth of the LFO. Let's go around 15, 16. So you can hear it there, it's kind of subtle, but that is what you want. Uh, it is a bit of a slow modulation, not super fast vibrato kind of thing. That's the way my ear is hearing it. You can fine tune it, of course, when you listen to the song. Um, the other option is we could just turn this down to zero, so we'll kind of bypass that setting. And we could just also assign it to the Y+, plus, to the joystick. So same thing, if we just put that up to 15, you can control it there. Whatever works for you, it's really neither here nor there. In the end, the effect is the same. You can work it either way. I think we're there. That's the, that's the end of this, I believe.
that's the basic sound is not going to be precise um, it's definitely given the same vibe it's very close um, they they obviously used a different piece of equipment the song's been mixed and mastered it's not going to have the exact same sound but we're right there in the zone let's say right and uh, this can be fine-tuned you can adjust it to match your song you want to use the sound in there or just stick with it as is and use it you know so thanks for tuning in hope you enjoyed the video I hope to break down some more sounds. Um, I'm not planning that they would all be from an existing song, but just sounds that I've programmed. I'm uh, definitely not a master sound designer, but I do enjoy programming sounds, and uh, I will share some over time that I find interesting, whether it's on the modal or I also have a Novation Peak, and uh, it could be with uh, VST instruments at times as well. All right, so... You guys take care. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. Make some music. How you mean?